Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Ellie Breakwell, APM Branches Coordinator, and thank you for joining us today at this APM Branches webinar. Please be aware that this webinar is being recorded and you're in listen-only mode. There will be some interactive elements to today's webinar, so please have your phone or another web browser open and go to menti.com and use the code 72309296. This will also be displayed on the screen. Today's webinar is being hosted by Dion Sapphire. Dion works as the Membership Development Manager here at APM. She joined APM at the beginning of September and has a varied career in IT sales, graphic design and retail. Here at APM, she looks after the individual membership and is passionate about our members and improving the membership journey. Please submit any questions you have for Dion into the questions panel and I'll read out these at the end. Thank you again for joining us today and without further ado, it gives me great pleasure to hand over to you, Dion. Good morning, everyone. I'm just going to turn my webcam off while I'm presenting. Thank you for that lovely introduction, Ellie. So today I'm just going to be giving you a brief run through of all the different membership types at APM, a little bit of history about APM as an organisation and a bit about chartered and everything as well. Um, as I said, there will be time for questions at the end of the session. So if you've got anything to ask, just pop it in the chat. So. Ellie introduced me this morning, um, but I am here. That's my email address, dion.suppliapm.org.uk. If you do have a question on membership, you feel free to drop me an email at any point. So I'd like to start off by giving you an overview of APM and our history. For those who've been working in project management for a while, hopefully you've already heard of us. But for everybody else, we were founded 50 years ago to be the voice of the project profession, both representing it and bringing forward best practices. We're chartered to build the profession's profile and to set high standards. APM are a registered charity, so any excess money we make goes back into our members, our research and other programmes. We're committed to sharing best practice, leading debate and as well as challenging the status quo and championing innovation. We're helping the project profession deliver better in every way we can. Currently, we have approximately 40,000 individual members and 450 corporate members. And generally, what we're trying to aim for is a society where projects succeed because society benefits. So our mission as an organisation is to advance the science and theory of, and practice of project and programme management for for the public benefit. Our vision is a world in which all projects succeed. We are living in, as we know, we're living in really challenging times now economically and we can't afford to be wasting money on failed projects. So anything we can do to help projects succeed is a very good thing. So without further ado, I will go on to membership. So membership is broken into four categories and I'll go through them a lot more in depth but to give you a rough idea student membership is open to any full-time or part-time student or apprentice age 16 or over who is an interest in project management associate membership is designed to support those who have an interest in project management or the early stages of career but it's equally good as well for anybody who's working in a project office who just wants to kind of keep up to date with knowledge and and can hone their skills. Full membership is designed for the project professional with five years experience of working as a project professional and fellowship is basically for those that can prove they've given back to the to the actual profession and have been working in it for 10 years plus. So student membership is a great place to start. Um, what I will stress is all of the benefits I'll list, and I will go through some of them more in depth, are available to all membership levels, um, but the student membership is our free membership level. For your free membership, again, as I say, you have to be a student to get this. You get access to our digital-only knowledge resources, including example templates, um, our publications and that kind of thing as well. You get access to the APM community platform, which is our own online forum. This is great for students as well because if you've got a question on a project or an assignment you can pop it in there and an experienced project manager can come back to you with an answer. You have a digital badge that you'll get emailed when you join that demonstrates your alignment to APM. Digital books I've already discussed and then you get digital access to our project journal archive. Our project journal is our award-winning magazine um, and it's got a great list of articles and that kind of thing you can go through. 
the other important thing is the APM conferences and events. We hold a lot of events throughout the year and for students um, and for all members, you get either free access to a lot of them or you get a discounted rate. And now this is this can be in-person events, this can be webinars, um, there's a whole range. You then you get access to my CPD, where you're com which you can track your continuous professional development, and also the APM competence framework. And again, I'll go through that in a little bit more depth in a moment. So associate membership is a level above this. Um, this is, like I said, this is great for people who are in the early stages of their career, or just want that step up to full membership. Um, the two real key benefits of this above and beyond the free associate of uh, the free student membership is the mentoring program the mentoring program you access from our community um, and it gives you one-to-one -one mentoring with an experienced project professional and i think we have over 200 slots free at the moment for mentees so if you're looking for someone to help you with your career whether it's in an aspect of your career, your, your specific interest you're in, whether you're looking to go for chartered or anything like that, mentoring can really, really help. And if you have been working in the industry a while and you want to give back, again, you can volunteer to become a mentor. And if you're looking at trying to become a fellow, this is a great way of, of giving back. Um, APM Learning, which is a learning platform, again, only for paying members. Um, this gives you access to modules and other areas which you can gain CPD points and develop your career and knowledge. You also get a subscription to the paper version of our journal magazine. Then, and while we're on the subject of associate membership, we've actually got a promotion at the moment. So if you aren't a member at the moment and you're thinking of joining, this is a great opportunity to do it. APM don't normally do discounts on their membership, but to celebrate our 50th year, we decided to do 50% off associate membership. So all you need to do is go on our website and pop in the code APM50, and that will give you 50% off. Applying to become either a student or associate member is really, really straightforward. There's no entry criteria. There's no, um, there's no goals you have to achieve. You just literally go on our website, fill in a short form from the membership tab, and you're, you can be literally live straight away. The next level up from membership is full membership. Full membership is the first type of membership that you actually have to qualify for. Um, there are three, three routes to qualify for it. Route one is an accepted qualification and three years experience in project management as a practitioner or in an academic environment. Route two is a direct entry qualification and route three is five year experience. Now, with, with those, on our website, there's actually videos that tell you what kind of qualifications and what you need to do, or you can email myself or um, info at apm.org.uk, which are our service and innovation team, and they'll be happy to help you with that. Again, if you are struggling with it at any point, pop a chat in the community, or maybe, say, go on, and if you're an associate member, you can go on and, and get some help from a mentor. The other benefits you get as a full member compared with an associate is post nominals of MAPM, so to, just demonst to demonstrate that you've hit a certain standard, and you also get board electing voting rights, so you have the chance to influence the future of APM and the wider project profession. And then our final level of membership is fellow membership. So this is for people who've been working, as I said, been working in project management for 10 years and above and have five years membership. And it's really to demonstrate that you have given back to the profession and you are a seasoned project professional. I just want to go through a few of the actual um, benefits a little bit more in depth, if that's okay with you. So... Starting off with the competence framework, this is a really, really fantastic tool, whatever stage of your career you're at. Um, you can go on this tool, and again, this is free for all membership levels. You can go on this tool, you can assess your knowledge against the key competencies that make up all of our, make up our body of knowledge and all of our qualifications, and, and see where you've got gaps missing in your um, expertise. You can also benchmark your qualifications and your kind of expertise against 
an actual specific job role um, so you can see what you need to do if you want to progress your career on so that's a fantastic way of doing it. and this links to the my cpd tool so um, click over to there so this again exclusive to the individual members this once you've worked out what skills you're missing you can go on the my cpd tool and you can look at articles on our website attend events and you can add these on a cpd and save these on there you can also print this off to show a tutor or or to show your um employer to show that you're continuously developing your skills and again if you're going to become a full member or you want to become chartered then it's important to be doing cpd now linking on from that we have apm learning now apm learning is only for paid members but it's a fantastic resource that gives you access to lots of modules on all the different varying subjects around project management you have videos easy to listen to short um, blogs all those kind of things um, and that's a fantastic way of again adding on to your cpd points another couple of other things we've got is our apm podcast and that's free on spotify or itunes or wherever else you listen to your podcasts and we have really influential people from inside the project profession at the highest of standards going through real kind of topics and we also have our youtube channel um which has recorded previous webinars so you can actually go on there and see what's happening and what other webinars have happened before now one of the most important parts of any role and then you have is networking we we have a chance for you to kind of as part of your membership to be part of a wider project community and this is through our branches and our specific interest groups so we have 13 branches um, and 14 specific interest groups at the moment I'm just gonna move that on so you there you can see a, a map of all the branches generally these branches are great you can you can once you remember you can click on them you can get involved you can volunteer with them they will host local events so you can actually go along and meet people in your local area um, and it's just a great way of networking and building those kind of work networks as, as well as the branches you say that we have an online community as well which I'll go to in more depth later um, but the branches are on there as well then we have our specific interest groups so we have 14 of these and they go from everything from insurance assurance sorry benefits and value pmo women in project management and this really gives you the chance to discuss and learn about your specific topics of project in interest but also a chance to help steer the project profession and they again hold their own events throughout the year which uh, which you can attend So the community platform, as I mentioned earlier, is, is basically a safe space for you to find information, ask questions. As a student, you can even, um, you know, get help with dissertations and things on there. It's a great tool. We, we, don't, we moderate it, but other than that, it's a safe space for our members to discuss and share knowledge. You can access it on the website, but there will say there's also a free app you can download, um, which is a great way of kind of keeping in touch with people on the go. One of the big focuses of APM is innovative research. We want to be at the forefront of changing the profession for the better, and research is the best way of doing this. Um, as a member, again, you can be in contact with the research team, you can be involved in the latest type of research, as well as kind of even suggesting areas you would like to have researched yourself. Now, Conferences and events, uh, as I said, these are the fantastic opportunity for you to actually be involved and network with other people. Some of these events are local and run by the branches, as I said earlier, but some of them are big um, events around the country, such as our Women in Project Management Conference and things like that. Generally, there's something for everybody. If you've got an hour to listen to a webinar or 20 minutes to listen to a podcast there's something for everybody to kind of keep on your journey so that kind of gives you the basics of membership hopefully that was informative we have got a career journey 
framework that again we can give you access to if you'd like and this tells you roughly where you are in your journey as to what type of membership and also what kind of qualification you actually need to be looking at if you've got any questions on this feel feel free to ask at the end so when we look at the next kind of stage i think qualifications i mean obviously they are a really important part of your career and APM qualifications really help you stand out from the crowd. They give you a qualification basically for each stage of your career and it helps you progress as you, as you go. So our three main qualifications are the Project Fundamentals qualification, which is basically the, the, the gives you a broad understanding of the project profession, the principles and fundamentals and the kind of all the terminology that goes along with it. If you are starting out working in project management or if you are managing a team that is a, is a project management team, it's a great qualification to have so you know what's going on. The next step up from that is the APM project management qualification. It's, these are aiming for people who, who are working in project management um, and it gives you the knowledge to participate in projects and up, right up to large capital projects. And then we've got the project professional qualification. So this is aimed with people with a lot of experience who are working at the highest levels of project management who want to demonstrate the skills. So whatever stage of your career you're at, there's a qualification for you. We've made the qualifications as easy to do as possible in terms of logistics. So whatever fits around your work life balance, our qualifications can fit in so you can study in person remotely or a hybrid of them and you can even take the qualifications the exams virtually if you need to so you can actually do it from home um, again on our website there are videos that talk through all the specifics of the of those main three qualifications and how easy it is to kind of do the logistics of them now, one of the key things about APM is we are the only chartered body for the profession in the world. And chartership is seen as the highest pinnacle of most careers, whether you're a chartered accountant, chartered, chartered architect, it is the pinnacle. And that's why APM brought in the chartered project professional. It's designed for you to be able to demonstrate that you've achieved the highest standard. So what are the benefits and how do you go about achieving it? So you get the post nominals of CHPP to show that you're at the very highest level and it gives you the most in-depth understanding of the project professional. There's three routes for becoming chartered. Route one is for project professionals who have a recognised assessment for technical knowledge. As a holder of recognised assessment against technical knowledge, you will need to provide a written submission and interview against professional practice. In order for you to do this, you will need to provide evidence for which there are three steps. You will be asked to declare that you've kept up to date through the CPD that I spoke about earlier and give your proposer's details. So normally that's your employer. Your application will be assessed at this stage and if successful, you will be invited up for a one hour interview covering professional practice and validating your written submission and ethics. Route two is for project professionals who have a recognised assessment for technical knowledge and professional practice. Your assessment of technical knowledge and professional practice is via the recognised assessment that you hold. Therefore, you will only need, you will not need to complete a written submission. You'll be asked to upload your CPD points covering 35 hours and give your proposal's default details. Then you're up. Then you will again have an interview. This will be about 30 minutes and cover CPD ethics and currency of mandatory competencies. There's a list on our website of those mandatory competencies. And last but not least, Route 3 is an experiential route for project professionals who do not have a recognised assessment. So if someone's been working in project management for 10 or 20 years but don't have the, the kind of qualifications, they can go down this route. This, this is, again, a, there's a few extra questions to answer for that, but again, it's the same basic principle. To help people get to chartered, we have videos on our website 
we have regular webinars that will help talk you through the process and again on our mentoring platform we have mentors that specialize in helping people become chartered but a couple of other things to t just touch upon um, we also do corporate membership for corporate partners um, so this is designed for organizations to show their alignment to um, the project profession to help hopefully attract when you're recruiting hopefully this helps attract good project professionals because they understand that you have that set level and also to show your customers as well that you have that kind of commitment and this is just kind of a, a brief overview. So we have corporate partnership and corporate affiliate. The main difference between the two is with the corporate partner, you have a dedicated corporate partner development manager who will help you with project project um, or you're using your project benefits, at, sorry, your membership benefits um, and, and helping out with any queries you have. The affiliate is more a self-serve kind of, kind of membership. And to give you an idea of the kind of organizations that we have as corporate partners, obviously there's some really big names in there. And it's it's important to us as well to have these partners on board helping to push the profession forward. And that is me done. So if you have any questions, say my email is on there. And Ellie, do we have any questions at all? Yes, we have lots of questions that have come through. So um, we have one question that says, what is the name of the podcast on Spotify and can the podcast count towards your CPD? Yes, you can You can log the podcast on your CPD points. And that's absolutely fine. Um, I The APM podcast, I can't, I was listening to it only the other day and I can't remember the name of it. Bear with me two seconds and I will find out. While I'm looking at, is there any other questions while I'm looking that up? Yeah, absolutely. And Scott has asked, can you access the mentoring as a full member? You certainly can. Um, basically, any mentoring, um, any full member, uh, oh, sorry, any paying member can enter mentoring as either a mentee or a mentor. Um, just literally go log on to the community app if you haven't got a login already as a member. Um, it's, it's literally free. Just access it from your membership on the main page and you can access it from there. It's just called the APM podcast. The podcast. And great, thank you. And we have two kind of questions that are similar. So someone is asking um, if someone uses the 50% off discount for the associate membership, how much would they have to pay to upgrade to full membership? And that links through to is it possible to upgrade from associate to full midway through the membership? It definitely is. So if you join as an associate, so if you want to use your benefits straight away, because obviously there's an application process for full membership, you can join as an associate member straight away um, and then you can upgrade free of charge in that and the rest of the time of that year, you won't pay anything additional. So you can upgrade free of charge. Great, thank you. And somebody has asked if a, web, a recording of this webinar will be posted to listen to later. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, that will be on our YouTube channel, yes. And we have another question. Do you have to be a member for a certain amount of time before you become chartered? They are currently a student member. You don't have to have been a member for a certain length of time, um, but generally, if you you do need some experience of working. So, what is a you, you could have been a student member, um, but you you were working as an a, as an apprentice, and you can prove and demonstrate your skills for say three years. You can start on that chartership journey. Yeah, there's no set time. Great, thank you. Has anybody else got any questions that they want to ask Dion while we've got her live? Just give it a couple more minutes to see if anybody has any further questions. So somebody has posted on the key takeaways, they are eligible to upgrade to a full member from associate should they wait until April. No, I would upgrade now. Um, you, you might as well start getting the benefits straight away. When you, if you wait till April, um, you will be paying. When you need to upgrade, 
I presume that's when their membership actually expires. When they upgrade, they'd need to pay the full um, membership. If, if their membership's expired, they'll be paying the full membership. So you might as well upgrade early and, and get the benefits earlier. Absolutely. Um, somebody's asked that the 50% code, it needs to be used um, via our membership team on the phone line. So that might be why you're not having any luck on the website. Um, so just give our, our membership team a call or drop them an email to info at apm.org.uk and they'll be able to help you with that discount. Um, somebody has asked that how they want to find their local branch and find out who runs it. So when you go onto the website and you go onto community, there's a list of all the branches with the areas in. When you click on the button for the local branch, the branch that's closest to you, it will have the contact details. You can actually contact them from the website. Thank you. And are there shorter routes through chartership if already chartered with another institution? That is something we're looking at, but currently no. Um, it, it is its own standalone process. It is something we are looking at going forward, though. Thank you. And here's another one. I may have missed the beginning of the session as I had difficulty with my connection, but I have the PMQ and have been a junior project manager for one year. Do I need a number of years experience to apply for membership? Um, when it becomes to associate membership no not at all you don't need a set number of um years of membership you can apply straight away and, and get that literally straight away to become a full member um you need you'd need three years experience with that kind of qualification thank you and somebody has asked can i be chartered by apm and the iet at the same time Yes, you can. There's no, you can have as many charter ships as you would like. Does running projects for over 16 years in the police count towards my experience level? My job role wasn't project manager. As long as you can demonstrate the key competencies and you have proof of those, then yes, it definitely does count. It, it's not the job title, it's the actual role you were doing, because I know a, a lot of people work in projects without the title of project manager. Thank you. And this one is slightly qualifications based, but I'll still ask it. It's, I currently hold the Prince2 practitioner. I've been working as project support for over a year. Should I consider the PFQ or the PMQ? If you've been working in project support for over a year, I'd probably say the PMQ. Um, and obviously, as you're a Prince practitioner already, um, there is a slightly shorter route to actually the PMQ. Um, so, yeah, I, I definitely think you'll have the qualification, uh, the skill set to go for the PMQ. Thank you. And I was a coordinator with PFQ for a number of years before becoming a junior project manager. Do those years count towards full membership? I would need to double check on that, but I, I would think they would, um, because if you're if you're working in that environment, it's still it's still project based. Thank you. Um, that is all the questions I've had through. So does anybody else have any final questions before we close out? I'll just give it a couple of minutes. looking like it's everything but like Dion said please feel free to reach out to her if you've got any questions and um, you can also reach out to our membership team which can be contacted at info at apm.org.uk they're always available um, to answer questions too oh we just have one final question come through from Michelle um, I have an accepted qualification and over 10 years experience do I need document three years only while applying for full or should I select five years? It, it that would be down down to whichever you prefer, really, and whatever's easier for you. It's it's that's that's a, literally your choice. Great. Well, thank you very much, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Um, please feel free to answer any questions that you've got. Um, in, in the follow-up for this. We've also got a um, follow-up survey that you'll all be sent, so we'd appreciate your support with that. Um, Oh, sorry, one second. Um, 
Thank you, Dion, for giving up your time to host this event. We hope you found it very valuable and will use the information you've learnt uh, today to begin your APM membership journey. We would, like I said, be grateful if you could complete the post-event survey and also check up our up upcoming events and webinars via the APM website. Please keep well, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for joining us and goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Thanks, Dion. Bye-bye, everyone.